Um, today we are going to learn some stuff, but first I want to remind you what our classroom rules are. Um, when you want to speak, what do you do? Yes! You raise your hand. Good job, and good job demonstrating it. And then while I'm teaching, I want you to have your eyes on me or on the board, and I want you to all keep your hands to yourself, okay? So yesterday we learned how to identify the characters in a story. And so I want you to read this story to yourself, and when you finish reading it, put your hands on your head. Okay. Who knows what one of the characters is? Or who one of the characters is? Yes, Brandy? Um, the grasshopper. Okay, so I'm going to underline grasshopper. He's one of our characters. And does anyone see another character? Is there another? Yeah, Camilla? The ant? Yes, good. He's our other character. Are there any more characters? If you think yes, give me a thumbs up. And if you think no, give me a thumbs down. Good, there aren't any more characters. All right. Um, today, we are going to learn how to identify the setting. So when we identify the setting in a story, we follow four easy steps. The first step to identifying the setting is read the story. What is the first step in identifying the setting? Read, read the, the story. story. Good job. The second step is underline words that tell where. Can you tell me what the second step is? Underline, underline words that, that tell where. where. Good job. You underline the words that tell where. Um, the third step is underline words that tell when. Can you tell me the third step? Underline, underline words, words that, that tell when. when. Good job. Underline words that tell when. And the fourth and final step is you write the setting. What's the fourth step? Write, write the, the setting. setting. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to find the setting of this story using those four steps. So first, I'm going to read the story. A long time ago, a man sold all that he had and bought a lump of gold, which he buried in a hole in the ground by the side of an old wall and went to look at it daily. One of his workmen observed his frequent visits to the spot and decided to watch his movements. He soon discovered the secret of the hidden treasure and digging down came to the lump of gold and stole it. So, now I'm going to try to find words that tell where. So let's see, a long time ago, a man sold all that he had, which he buried in a hole, that tells me where, and the ground also tells me where, and by the side of an old wall also tells me where this old man was. Let's see, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else that tells me where. Now the third step is I'm going to find words that tell me when. A long time ago tells me when this happened. And I don't see any other words or phrases that tell me when. And then the fourth and final step is I write the setting. So I'm going to write, a long time ago, so that tells me the when a long time ago. Um, the old man, he buried his treasure in a hole, in the ground, And an old wall. So now we have the setting. A long time ago, an old man buried his treasure in a hole in the ground and an old wall. Cool. So now we're going to do one of these stories together. We're going to find the setting of the story all together. So what's the first step of finding the setting, class? Read, the, read story. the story. That's correct. The first step of finding the setting is to read the story. So we're going to all read the story together out loud. Let's start. One, two, three. 
One fine evening, a young princess put on her bonnet and clogs and went out to take a walk by herself in a wood. Great job reading the story, class. We just did the first step. Does anyone... So now we're going to do the second step together. What's the first step, class? I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> what is the second step? Let's say it all together. Um, find the words that say where. where. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was... So the second step is to underline the words that say where. Let's do it one more time. What's the second step? Underline, underline the words that say where. where. Perfect. So now we're going to underline the words that say where in the story. So let's read through the story in our heads and think about where the story is happening. So let's think. Just think for a couple seconds. Okay, now everybody let's say where the story is happening. One, two, three. In a, in a wood. wood. Perfect. The story is happening in a wood. So now I'm going to underline the words in a wood. Perfect. So now we just did the second step. Oh, man. This is hard. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to do the third step class. Does everyone remember what the third step is? Let's say it together. One, two, three. Underline words to say, say when. when. Perfect. The third step is to underline the words that say when. So we're going to think for five seconds about the words in the story that say when. Okay. Now that everybody has thought about it, we're going to say the words that say when in the story together. One, two, three. One, one fine evening. One fine evening. That's perfect. So now I'm going to underline those words. Awesome. So now that we have both where and when underlined, and we read the story, we can do the fourth step. Does everyone remember what the fourth step is for finding the setting in the story? One, two, three. Write, write the, the setting. setting. Yeah, it's to write the setting. So I'm going to put these two, where and when, together to write the setting. So I'm going to say, in a wood, one fine evening, to put them together. In a wood, one Awesome. Good job, class. We found the setting to the story. That was perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do this one also together. So... Um, the first step is what, class? Read the story. story. All right. I want you to read this story in your head, and when you've finished, give me a thumbs up. Okay. Can I have you read it out loud, Camilla? Deep in the dark of the house, nighttime silence woke whiskers. He yawned. Good job. All right. What is the second step? Think of it in your head and tell me together. Underline words that say where. Good job. Okay, so think of the words that say where, and when you know a word that says where, raise your hand. Yes? What's one word that says where? In the house. Good job. Do you want to come underline that? I do. All right, and are there any other words that say where it takes place? If you think yes, give me a thumbs up, and if you think no, give me a thumbs down. Okay, oh. Camilla, tell me why you think yes. Um, I think deep in the dark is tells where it happens. Yeah, that kind of counts. Um, I think in this case, deep in the dark is a little bit more of a describing because it's the dark of the house. So it describes that the house is dark. So I'm not going to underline it this time, because I think the house is the main setting, and deep in the dark kind of describes it. It's more of an adjective. Um, OK, so that's all the words that say where it takes place. Now raise your hand if you know the third step. Yes, Caroline? Underline the words that say when. Awesome. And so everybody find a word that says when and raise your hand when you found one. Camilla? Nighttime. 
Good. Do you want to come underline it? All right. So now we have underlined of the house and nighttime. I'm going to put that in a sentence for the fourth step, which is to write the setting. Let's say that together so we all remember, okay? Write the setting. Okay, good job. So I'm going to write the setting, and I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to say in the house. And then I'm going to say at night, and I'm going to change the word nighttime to night because they mean the same thing, but it doesn't make sense to say in the house at nighttime. Sounds kind of funny. So that's my complete sentence. The setting is in the house at night. However. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do one more together. Um, so, what is the first step, Heidi? Um, read the story. Read the story. Okay, so I provided you each with copies of the story. It's right there. Um, and I want you all to do the first step on your own, in your head. And when you're done, look up at me. And so now, um, what is the second step, Caroline? So underline the words that say where. Underline, good job. That it is to underline the words that say where. Okay, I would like you each to, um, on your paper, underline the words that say where. And when you're done, look up at me. Okay, good. Um, what, <laughs> Heidi, what word did you... Or words did you underline and say where? Basement and beneath the window. Basement and beneath the window. Um, would you like to? No, would you like to underline the um, the words that you found that say yes, where? Yes, I would love to. I found the same words as Heidi. I noticed. Yeah, good job. You guys are doing great. Um, so, can everybody, or what is the, um, what is the third step? Underline words that say when. Good job. So, everybody on your paper, underline the words that you think say when. Okay, what word did you underline, Caroline? I underlined the words one afternoon. One afternoon. Okay, mm -hmm. do you want to come up in? Yeah. Do that for the class. She underlined the words one afternoon, and that's right, because it says um, exactly when in the day that this happened. Um, and now what is the fourth step, Heidi? To write the setting. Write the setting. So everyone on your paper, write the setting. Well, um, Camilla, would you like to come write the setting up on the board for everyone? Of course. Um, this is a British story. Um, actually a poem. What does the word casement mean? That is a good question. We should, after this lesson, we should all get out our dictionaries and look up the word casement and discover that together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> would, would somebody like to read out loud what Camilla wrote? Raise your hand if you want to read. Heidi. One afternoon in the basement beneath, beneath the window casement. Awesome. Good job. So, we did all four steps. And now we're ready to go on and try these 
on our own with our um, on our assignment on our worksheet. <laughs> okay, so uh, on the same worksheet is the um, is the passage that I'd like you to read. And um, everybody, if we could all, everyone, do the first step on your own, and then look up at me when you're done. Okay, what did you do for the first step? Camilla. I read the story. You read the story. Did everyone read the story? Mm -hmm. Yes? Good job. That was the first step. Now everybody do the second step on your own. And look up at me when you're done. Good job. What did you do for the second step, Heidi? Underlined track field. And you said it, yeah, yeah, and everybody. <laughs> that was my next question. What words did you underline, everybody? Track, track, track and field. field. Good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, now everybody do the third step on your paper. What did you do for the third step, everyone? Underline. Underlined when. Underlined when. Underlined when. Good job. So, Camilla, what word did you find the, or what word did you underline for when? Um, I underlined one sunny afternoon. One sunny afternoon. Perfect. It looks like you all did that. Uh, now, everybody, do the fourth step on your paper. Okay. What did you do for the fourth step, Heidi? I wrote it in a sentence. You wrote it in a sentence. Yes. Um, what sentence did you write, Carolyn? I wrote one sunny afternoon on the track field. Perfect. And uh, it looks like all of you wrote something close to that. So now you're ready to go on and do the rest of the, the other passages on your own. And fast forward. Now you finished. <laughs> you finished that. Okay, so today we learned how to find a setting. You guys all did a wonderful job. Um, raising your hand when you wanted to speak and keeping your eyes on me and the board and keeping your hands to yourself. Um, we were able to learn a lot faster and a lot better because you followed those expectations. And tomorrow we are going to learn how to find the words that describe characters in